What's going on guys, Nathan with Technology Smash back with another video and today I have a very quick um, overview, review, whatever you want to call these that I do for the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. So last video we unboxed this guy and we did a quick setup. Um, I just wanted to go over quickly some of the things that I like about this watch and some of the things that I don't. The, the negatives of this watch are so few that um, I definitely recommend this watch if you have an Android device and you want a Tizen watch over, you know, like a Google, uh, like a, a Wear device. This has a lot of benefits um, over a lot of those watches that I've tried. So we'll just get into this. It'll be real quick um, and, and straightforward. So uh, we'll go over the bad things first. Uh, like I said, very few. I do not like the the style i guess that this casing has these prongs that come out and attach to the bands that are 22 millimeter it's good that they're 22 millimeter because those are very common um, band sizes uh, i just I, there's something about the way that it looks where it kind of has that big gap uh, some of the watches in the past i i don't know if you i'm sure you could get a band that kind of changes the way that looks um, to make it less uh, just, I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. That's just a personal preference that might not have any bearing on you or how you feel. You can kind of see those large gaps. I just don't like that look very much. It does help with the curvature like around your wrist. Um, but that's something that I just, I, I'm not a fan of for the look. Um, another thing that I don't like is the stock band that it comes with. It's like this, uh, it, it's not fake leather. It's premium genuine leather, as you can see here. But all that means is that it's like the lowest grade, um, and apparently it won't focus, there you go, the lowest grade of like what real leather can be qualified as. Um, so it's okay. I, I don't like the band, but that's not a big deal because you can buy one relatively cheap. And it's, it's um, easy to swap out. They have these quick release pins that a lot of these devices have where you can just pull it down and the band comes right off. So that's nice, I do like that. Um, Another thing that I do not like is the price. This is I'm I, after tax and everything. I think it was about four sixty five. It's very expensive for what it is. There's a lot of watches that you can get that are cheaper than this. Uh, it, it's brand new. This price will likely drop pretty quick over time. Um, so if you're looking at this watch, but it's a little too pricey for you, I would just wait a little while longer. Um, otherwise, I mean, it, it's, it's comfortable. It's lightweight. Um, there's, like I said, there's not a lot that I don't like about it. I think it's a great watch. The, so we'll kind of go over some of the things that I love about it. Cause honestly, the, the, what I don't like pretty much stops there. Um, one thing actually real quick, I did have some disconnects and I have a newer phone too. Um, the one plus seven i don't know if it's a part of the software issue with things trying to kill the background applications um i set it up the way i'm supposed to and it would lose connection every so often but nothing too insane um so a few of the things that i love this screen is gorgeous it looks so so good i i usually crank all my devices to full brightness and that's what i have here so you can see um if i go ah is it down? Yeah, if I go down and I go over, my brightness is all the way up. So I have 10 out of 10. Um, it looks fantastic. It, it, there's nothing more really to say. It's probably the best smartphone or smartwatch screen I've ever seen. It's, it's not even close. Uh, another thing that I really like that I was just using there is the rotating um, bezel. It's, it's insane how useful this is and how not as many companies do this with their watches. Uh, it's really, really helpful. Like I said in the last video, you don't have to get in the way of your screen. You don't dirty up your screen as much and it's just helpful. Uh, it, it's, it's almost satisfying and just nice to be able to move around like that. So that's definitely another benefit. It's very tactile. It clicks. Um, so you kind of know exactly what you're doing. I really like the notifications over here to the left. I cleared mine because they had some stuff that I wouldn't want everyone to see. But if you go just one over, everything will be over here and you can clear them all at once. Um, and then you can kind of swipe through your whole interface right from the home screen. So really, really good. Love the build quality. Also, this watch seems super solid. Uh, it seems like, 
you know, it should be able to take a few hits here and there. Some of their older watches are a little bit more robust, I feel like. They kind of slimmed this one down and tried to get it a little bit sleeker, which they definitely succeeded in, but uh, it might take a hit a little bit worse if you, you know, come, come around a corner and hit your wrist on the, on the wall or something like that. So, um, heart rate monitor and blood oxygen seem to be pretty accurate for what they are. I mean, you're, you're talking about a sensor that goes through your wrist and kind of takes a snapshot visual of the something to do with the, like, you know, capillaries or vision through your vein or so I, I forget exactly the, the technology they use, but for what it is, I would say that it's pretty accurate. Um, the watch faces are abundant. There's a lot that you can do with this. Um, a lot of the stock ones also come with full customization. So like if I'm in here, you know, I can change whatever I want. I can change the color of this. I can change the, the different little, um, modules that are on here. Um, it's, it's really customizable. That kind of works in a negative way for someone like me because it, it just makes me want to change it as often as possible, but it's great to have. Um, options. So that is another great, great thing about this watch. There's definitely a lot of different functionality to it. It's very quick too. So the, the software works really, really well. I, I haven't had any like lags or stutters. The only lag and stutter issues are anything <laughs> voice related with Bixby. Bixby to me is still just not something that I want to use. And it's not something that a lot of people want to use from what I've seen. So, and I think I saw the other day that, um, Google is actually in talks to basically like eliminate Bixby so that they can switch fully over to, they're trying to talk with Samsung to get rid of Bixby as far as I've heard, something like that. Um, so hopefully that kind of comes to fruition. Um, the, the interface, like I said, the, the ties in software, super easy to get used to and very useful stuff. Um, the crown rotates to everything you need. The app selection is okay. It's, it's not the best. Um, there are certain things that you would think would be on here and it's just not. So that's kind of going to depend on what you, what you really need. Uh, whereas, you know, Google's going to shine a little bit better there, obviously, but uh, I mean, it, the battery life is okay. It, it's, it's pretty in, in the middle. Um, it's, it's about a couple of day battery. If you run it full brightness like me and have like an always on display, you probably do want to charge it once a day. Um, but you could probably squeeze two days easily out of it with some setting tweaks, depending on how you like to use yours. Uh, I really like the charger, which is just like the Apple watch one. It's just like a magnetic dock that you just slap it down on. I tried to put this on my other wireless chargers and couldn't get it to work. I didn't look into if it's supposed to be able to work, um, but it, it works with their wireless charger. So I don't know if it'll work with just a normal one. Maybe someone in the comments can let me know because I never looked into that all the way um, to see. But yeah, screen's great. Battery life is good enough. Um, interface is great. Honestly, the only things that I don't like are personal preferences and the price. So just those little things with, with what it comes with, kind of the band and, and the way that it sticks out. And then um, it, it's not as comfortable, I would say, as my Apple Watch, because it's more like a real watch that you kind of want to take off. So I can wear my Apple Watch at night and wear it overnight for any kind of sleep tracking. Um, this has pretty good sleep tracking on it, but it was not as comfortable to wear. It probably has a lot to do with that band. If I were to switch it out for like a silicone or like an exercise type of band, it would be a lot better. But um, I don't know. I, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. I like to do these shorter reviews so people can kind of get a gist and quickly see what it is without going through something too intense and long. But yeah, uh, I think that pretty much does it. If I think of anything else or if anybody has any questions, I'll be you know, happy to answer them down in the comments below, or you guys can kind of talk amongst yourselves too and ask each other questions. Um, somebody had asked me in one of the other comments on the video, if it comes with a charging brick to the corded, um, wireless charger, it does not. So it only comes with this wireless charger that ends with a, with a USB, um, a at the back. So you do have to provide your own charging brick for the wall or if you put it into a computer, which I don't recommend, um, anything like that, you have to provide a source for it to charge. So, um, I think that pretty much does it. So if you guys have any questions, like I said, please leave them down below. If not, I'll catch you next time. Later.